Hi, if you watch this channel at least from time to time, you should know that from time to time I like to make me an antenna or a pigtail or design my own radio system or stuff like that. I like antennas. I really like building antennas. But until recently, I had absolutely no idea how good, how well made my antennas are. This changed last week because finally, finally, I got me this. What is it? It's a vector impedance analyzer. In layman's terms, it can tell you how well made, how well tuned your antenna is. I got it from somewhere from China. It costed me around 150 bucks, which comparing to the prices of those things a few years ago, it's like, come on, it's for free. It's not perfect though. Uh, I have no idea how well this is calibrated. I suspect not so well calibrated, but still even it can tell us something about the antenna and the feed line as well. And uh, it goes only up to 2.7 gigahertz. So I can forget about checking the FPV antennas because this is way above the, the price. Those things still cost like a few thousand dollars. This one for 155, I think I paid exactly, can do from 137 to 2.7 gigahertz and display really amazing stuff. Let's, let me turn this on. Okay, it's on, something is displayed. And let me find an antenna. Cheap, 868 megahertz. And what it tells us? It tells us the WS VSWR rate, it gives us S11 marking, it gives us the impedance and the resistance, and it gives us uh, some other things like capacitance of the antenna. 18, let's say 20 picofarads and total impedance. And if you do something like this, then it will show us how well the antenna is behaving in the whole band. I, for example, will put this to analysis between 600 and 1 gigahertz. Ta da! You see? Let me zoom in. The, here some and right now I'm showing you S11. S11 is the information is the reflection rate. So it tells us how much of the power fed to the antenna will be reflected from the antenna and returned to the transmitter uh, for the current frequency. Um, let me zoom move the marker. The, oh, sorry, the marker is right now more or less tuned. So, what we say here, at 867 and a half, oh, let's move this. Uh, okay, let 869 and a half megahertz, the S11 factor is minus 15 decibels, minus 16 decibels. That means if I will feed 10 dBm's, which is 10 milliwatts into the antenna, then minus 6 dBm will be returned into the re transmitter. Pretty nice tune for something that I got some type of bundled with something. It's really nice tune. If we want to see something else, for example, we can... Oh, how well this is tuned? We have right now VSWR on the 1.1. This is really, this is amazing tune, 1.1 VSVR. Or we can see the resistance or different resistance. I will have to learn myself something. S11. S11 and VSVR is, is what, what we really want. So this was something ready-made. I, I expected crap of those antenna, but they proven to be... Come on! They are even correctly tuned to the frequency they are sold with. God! How cool is that? So instead of that, we can, for example, connect what we can connect. Oh! I did not test it yet. This is my inverted V for 868 MHz. As you see, there's no connector, only some wire, but it should work as well. 
let me plug this into the it will not be perfect but it will work let me plug it in and let's see how well tuned this antenna is uh, not so well i well maybe not the worst tune ever right now you cannot see okay let's s11 at minus 10 uh -uh. Uh -uh. i really did not did well by while making this antenna let me connect this somehow okay that should be better but hmm. On the other hand, taking into the consideration that I just started plugging things without measuring, the result is not that bad. It's only slightly too long, but on the frequency it's tuned in, the S11 is, is pretty decent because minus 18 decibels. And I will show you a trick. I will show you a trick how to change the tune of the antenna. It's simple when the antenna is too long, because if the antenna is too long, then you just take the hot part and where's the, okay, and you cut a millimeter. I've cut a millimeter and right now the tune moved a little as well so right now is 843 then let's shorten the antenna again and move slightly up still not perfect let's shorten oh it moved you see it slightly moved so right now still too long let's cut it again it moved again and with this method we are just gonna cut it until we gonna and I will change the scale and we're gonna hit the desired frequency and in our case the desired Frequency is 862, still slightly too long in our case, 868 and a half. And the awesome, whoa, I'm really shocked, the minus 25 S11 factor. Come on, after slight tuning, I might even want to make it slightly, slightly longer. Perfect. And now with the frequency hopping in place, I have perfectly tuned antenna that created just like that using a tool for 155. Awesome, right? You see antenna and you know how good it is. This different antenna. This, for example, is the 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, not behaving correctly in the range. So, no, uh -huh. And let's move the range to 2.7. See, perfectly tuned antenna for 2.4 gigahertz. How nice is that? Oh, or this one. I think I already showed you this antenna. I got it with my Wolfbox 500 milliwatt LRS transmitter I never really used. And now we can check how well this thing is behaving. See? Pretty, 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 pretty nice. Let's change the range because this is 400 something megahertz. And lovely. After, hmm, this will take us too long. Apparently, according to this device, this antenna is correctly tuned for 
449 MHz and over there it has the S11 and minus, minus 20 decibels and uh, VSWR of oh, no this is ah, and VSWR of 1.2 pretty awesome tune for something uh, something that cheap wait a second wait a second because I will want to check something else remember this one it's the Ever Sky R9M I had some strange questions about the length of the feed line I think I will have to record another video about this let's connect this which is supposed to be 806, 868 megahertz antenna unfortunately is the RPSMA and this is SMA and but I have the RPSMA to SMA thingy uh, it changes the tune a little because it adds some length but only in a very not not so much and 800 right so let's move max range to one gig what the fuck I have no I I have no idea what Eversky is selling but this is definitely not 868 MHz antenna look how flat the line is over here uh, let's change the what the hell I really do not know what they are trying to pull over here it makes no sense this okay um I think I got carried away mm. crap come on this is not what they never mind to sum things up such a device not the cheap one because really for 155 bucks you can have a complete drone Iachin wizard or whatever but if you are doing an antenna from time to time or you are working on with radio transmissions and communications things like that and uh, this really really might be a very useful tool I love mine because come on it it allowed me to locate so many strange things I was doing wrong with my attempts uh, so expect this tool to be present in my next videos about for example about what how to make an antenna or how to match the length of the feed line because it's also there I have a lot of things planned and and what I think I think I hope it was fairly informative and uh, awesome, awesome, really awesome, awesome, awesome tool. I'm very happy I've decided to get me this thing. And what? Um, expect more about my uh, do-it-yourself LoRa radio link. I, I've made some progress. I'm still making some progress. I've made some pretty more satisfying flights because I reached more than 600 meters without absolutely zero problem no fail safe this time everything was great and imagine how good it will be when I will be able to finally analyze those antennas with this device God! okay I'm carried away that's all for today until the next one ciao